Okay, let's go over and get a better look at this. Hotel Woodson. Very large old hotel. Maybe we can. No. Oh, it's real pretty on the inside. No, no. Okay. Very nice. I don't see a date on it anywhere. Okay. American Legion Post 13. Okay. Cross-eyed catfish trading company. Kayaks and more, it says. You know, this looks like, this kind of looks like it might have been a movie theater at one time. Of course, I could be totally wrong. Oh, that's cool. Check this out. We got a a uh, little park area. Huh. Well, that's just pretty cool here in downtown Yates Center. Okay, let's just look around here a little bit. I'm taking pictures as I go along. <clears throat> really nice. walk around and the rest of the way and then I'll get a picture of the courthouse.
the education building. There's your post office right across the street. Okay. Maybe we'll get this courthouse. I meant to stand across the street. Get a picture of it. It's pretty good, pretty good sized courthouse. Here, there it is, right there. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom up there for you. Right between trees here. Yeah, check that out. That is really cool. Okay, well, we'll go on. Street here, maybe. I'm going to try to get here in the shade so I can show you this. There we go. I don't know if you can make that out or not. It was 1884. Let me try to get behind the sun here a little bit. Okay, look at there. Very ornate building. Got you zoom in a little bit. It would have been very pretty at one time. Oh, check that out. straight here and I'll show you another building the light hardware company Let's see if we can get across the street here yeah here we go it's probably a little bit better light hardware company and then it's got dr. John and Patricia Aitken grand ballroom oh that's cool Let's go on down. Another building down here I want to take a look at. Uh, that's kind of unique.
It's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Kind of zoom in here a little bit. Falling pins are in the front window there. Uh, maybe the bowling alley at one time. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just being silly. Well, here's their Yates Center Police Department, City Hall. Okay. Boy. Glare is really bad. Okay. Well, I think we'll turn around here and we'll go the other way. Make our way down. I think we're just about done here. Like I say, we got we got some other towns to go to. That really is unique. The lanes at Light Hardware, fun bowling, classic cocktails, and great food. Huh. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's different. Okay, I think we'll go on down and... And this is Light Har Hardware Company Building. And it is totally empty. There's not a thing in there. <laughs> that can... That's huge on the inside. I mean, that is one huge area. I bet they use it for like parties and stuff. I'm not real sure though. That's huge. Okay, well, I got some pics of that very huge building. And there's a... I don't know what that was at one time. We've been almost all the way around. What I might do is go across the street here and get this. May get one more picture of the courthouse. I'm assuming that's what it is. really very pretty. I get that, then I'll get the other side over here, and then I think we're done for this particular town. Yeah, I think this will make a much better, much better picture right here, right between the trees. Okay, well, I got some more pictures of that very beautiful courthouse. Absolutely beautiful. Let me just kind of do a 360 here. That is just a beautiful courthouse. Kind of like a town square. I've seen other towns that had these type of main streets where you've got a, actually got a town square. been to several towns like that over the years. Okay guys, I think we're done here. We're going to go on to our next town. That says Waymeyer Block at the top of this building right here. 
and here's the Mexican restaurant right here. And then this is Down Home Gifts. Okay, well, I think we are done here. We're going to go on to our next destination. Very cool town. Very, very cool. We got the old hotel and the beautiful courthouse, just really nice. Okay guys, I think we're gonna go for now. I'm gonna drive on. So, just hang on a minute and we'll, we'll be back. I never did get the band shell. Maybe I'll get it just real quick and then we're going to go on. Huh. Completely forgot about the band shell. Here we are. 1928. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Okay, we're going to be back in a little bit. Okay, we are at our next destination. Okay, we are at Chicken Creek Arch Park. Although I really don't see a park, we just kind of give you an idea of where we're at. We're really out in the middle of nowhere uh, this afternoon. We finally made it. It's like, wow, 10 after one, boy. But we stopped at three other towns and I did a walking or driving tour of those towns. So here we are. It's really quiet out here. Really peaceful. And we'll see if we can get a good glimpse of this old arch bridge. You're supposed to, there's supposed to be a walkway, a ramp, or whatever. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. I did look this up on Google Maps. And this is what it was, just exactly like this. So, so far, so good. Well, it's got quite a, quite a fence area. Big old... Look at this. Boy, it's really been reinforced. Boy, check that out. There's all kind of flying critters out here. I think they're moths. But at least they're not wasps. And they're just where we walked down from, parked the car. Looks like there's maybe room for three or four cars. This is really unique. Out of all the stone arch bridges I've done, this is quite different. We're not to the bridge yet, but I'm just saying that this is a little bit the actual road part. It's really pretty different. Okay, they've got steps. And there's supposed to be a platform down there, so we're going to Let's go down here and see what we can do here. Boy, howdy. Ooh wee. Boy, they said they were out in the middle of nowhere. They weren't lying. There's the... There it is, right there. Hmm. Yeah, um... There's the steps. Uh, let me kind of read a brief history here real quick. The historic 
Chicken Creek Arch is located one half mile east and one and one fourth mile south of the town of Lone Star at 780 East 850th Road. The arch was built in 1913 by B.F. Metzger and I. Babb at a cost of $120, I'm sorry, $170.25. The crossroad drainage structure was placed on the National Register in 1990. And it just says it's got nearby uh, parking. And that's, you know, once I thought there was a plaque out here, but I don't see it as of yet. Uh, we're going to walk down there and take a look at it, I think. It looks, um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I guess it's pretty sturdy. Well, let's walk down here. Hope there's no snakes down here. I don't know just how far I'm going to walk down here. But that's it. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is close enough. So you, can look, you can look all the way through it. Isn't that neat? Yeah, there it is. Kind of a weird name, but that's it. Okay, well I got I got several pictures, and that's it. Really cool old bridge out here in the middle of nowhere. But I do like the fact that they have the steps and this uh, platform, if that's what you want to call it. It's really not a platform; it's just <laughs> like a mound, uh, you know. A dirt or whatever. But you can't see all the way through it. And that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I think we're going to go back up. Yep. And like I said, I found this quite by accident. Okay, well, we're going to go back up <clears throat> here and just kind of walk around here. There. If there's a park around here, uh, huh, I am not seeing it. I'll just kind of show you where we're at here a little bit. Because there's a road we came down on right there. Big old culvert right there. Concrete culvert. Okay. Well, that's it. Yep, that's it. Pretty good view from up here. Oh, here's the... I found the plaque. <laughs> this is about the same thing. The Chicken Creek Bridge was built by B.F. Betzker and I. Babb at a cost of $170.25 in 1913. Although commonly known as a Chicken Creek Bridge, it actually spans Burton's Branch, a tributary to Chicken Creek. The stone for the bridge was quarried locally. It is a single arch structure, rare now but commonplace in the late 19th and early 20th century. The county commissioners in 1913 were John Walton, Gus Brune, and Albert Walters. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, well, let's go on. Now, this side over here is all private property, I, I do believe. Uh, but there may be an area where we can go down on the other side. Let's go check it out. No, I don't really think so. That's, uh, oh no. No, there's no way to get down there. Okay, well, uh, there we go. That's another stone arch bridge for me. 
I've done over a hundred of different kinds of bridges, you know. But that's it. And it's not all graffitied up. I'm really quite surprised. It looks really in really good uh, condition. It really does for being so far out here in the middle of nowhere. And I've done bridges like that before. I've been out in the middle of nowhere before on these kind of bridges. Nothing new. Well, we've got one more area. We've got one more stop. Then I think we're done for the day. We've done a lot of driving today. I think we left around 7 o'clock this morning. But we did go through three towns that I toured, either by walking or driving. Some I walked through and some I drove through. This is the parking lot. Looks like you might be able to park up in here. And then there's, there's actually four places to park. Plus maybe over here if you actually needed it. That car that was there, they finally left. I don't know what they were doing down here. They just sat there with their motor running. They finally left. Okay guys, I think we're gonna to go to our last destination of the day and we will be back in a little bit. Okay, we are in Clinton, Kansas. We are just not too far from Clinton, Clinton Lake. I just got through talking with the owner and he has graciously given me permission to do a video of the inside of the store. This is so cool. Uh, you can barely see it, but it says the Clinton store, homemade sandwiches, ice cream, live bake, groceries, and all that. And then they got the air machines, they've got the uh, ice machines, and here is where their gas pump. Let me show you their sign if I can get can read it. Clinton store. We're only about oh 10 minutes from the bridge. We just got through filming the uh, the old Stone Arch Bridge and here's the, one of the old uh, gas pumps. Check that out. <laughs> yeah that's an oldie ain't it. That really is. And we're just going to kind of show you around here a little bit then we're going to go on the inside. I'm going to take some pictures real quick. And then I think we're done for the day. We've been on the road since about 7 o'clock this morning. And we are finally done. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying, you know, we enjoy traveling. We enjoy seeing things like this. And it's just really fun to go out. We explore our world. We do. We do a lot of road trips. We don't go very far necessarily, but we have a lot of fun. And that's, you know, that's that's the biggest thing. Oh boy, there's a lot of wasps flying around there. There's some gourds hanging up there. Yeah, this is really, really nice little place. Very friendly. The manager or the owner was very gracious and very friendly. And here's some flowers on this trailer here. Those look interesting. Okay. Yeah, I just don't see them like this anymore. You really don't. You just don't see these too many anymore. Like this anymore. Really very cool. Okay, well let's go inside. And we'll just kind of walk around here a little bit. The Clinton Store. Established 1931. Well, let's walk on in. There's some gummy snacks or whatever right there. And what a charcoal. And there's the where they have their like their meats and their cheeses and they do. They have cheddar jack. They've got jumbo franks and butter. 
milk, juice. Yeah. It's not very big, but they offer a lot. There's an old, the, look at that, old Coke cooler. Wow. That is awesome. I got these foam noodles. You know, those, those come in real handy. You can use those for, like, wires for your external system or your uh, TV. You can use those to control your wires. And they also come in handy to put along your door, at the edge of your door. Keep out some of the hot or the cold. Yeah, that's what we do. And, of course, we've got a whole variety of chips and ice cream. Ooh, looky there. Blue Bunny ice cream. And then they have toothpaste. Oh, this is kind of an era. Inflatable mattress there. Yeah. The toys for the kids. Sun tan lotion, toothpaste, just a whole variety of stuff you would find in an old general store. Coffee, salt, yeah, just a whole variety. Uh, snack cakes, we can't have any snack cakes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I bet they get a lot of business being this close to the Clinton Lake. We're going to go down there here, here in just a minute. But this just kind of gives you an idea of what's inside the store. An old uh, fence oil sign. Oil. And I've got quite the variety here. I really do. you need for a for a cookout can openers a pair of pliers tablecloths scissors spatulas grill cleaners camp forks lighters these come in real handy they really do we we'll use those all the time I've got some assorted different kinds of uh, drinks if you're so inclined but yeah really really quite the variety really really nice it's got a lot of the old signs that's pretty cool too the air conditioning feels really good right now oh let's see the onions sell t-shirts. You can see those have to take a look at some of them. They have no way of t-shirts. Oh, they're just mainly... Okay, well, that's all right. Oh, soda fountain. It looks like it's working right now. Some of the beer. Fishing lures. Yeah. Nice recliner. <laughs> okay guys. We're going to our outro. We are at Lake Clinton. Very beautiful out here. It really is. I know it's got some storm clouds, but we're we just had lunch and now we're getting ready to go back home. We had a pretty good lunch. We just had a picnic lunch. You know, we brought our own stuff. That's fun to do. You know, sandwiches, salad, you know, things like that nature. But it's really pretty out here. Kind of just kind of got to give you one last look here before we head on home. 
yeah. It's a pretty good sized lake. That's where we had lunch. The wife's packing everything up now. We got we're gonna pack up the dog and get our stuff packed up and we're gonna head on out. It's been a really fun day. We have done three uh, historic downtown areas. <clears throat> we done the old bridge. We done the general store, the Clinton general store. And now we had lunch at this very beautiful lake area. I know it's, it's very cloudy, but we're getting ready to head on out. There's a whole bunch of activity going on right over there. A bunch of people. I don't tell on a Monday. Really don't know. Oh. Sorry, had something crawling crawling on me. But yeah, we're just getting ready to go here. My wife's out out walking the dog one last time before we head on out. Or put the dog back in the car so we can go. It's been a really nice day up till now it started getting cloudy when we pulled up but I think for what we've been where we've been I think we've done really good today um, this is Monday hope you have a nice Monday good safe Monday when you get a day off Go on vacation or whatever, go out and explore your world. I keep having bugs crawling on me. Uh, go and explore your world, have fun. Go to old, like we like to go to old towns and old bridges and that sort of thing. And we just had a blast today. It's been really nice up till now. But it held out for us, it held out for us, you know, um, until we were done for the day. And now all I gotta do is just, but, maybe three and a half, four hour drive ahead of us. But, I think we're going to say goodbye for now. Out here, Clinton Lake. We're not too far from Lawrence, Kansas. 20 some, uh, 22 miles or something from Lawrence, from Lawrence, Kansas. So, hope you have a nice, safe day. Like I already said, get out and explore your world. Have fun, but the most important thing is be safe, be aware of your surroundings, and just have a good time. Those of you that watch, if you like our channel, I would ask that you would like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. It'll keep you up to date with all current and, of course, future videos. And outside of that, I think we're going to say goodbye for now. And as always, we will see you on the next video. So, goodbye for now. Thunder is rumbling. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you all later.